Before we start the video, I would like to congratulate the winners of the Reolink Argus 2 Holiday Giveaway. I will link the names of the winners in the description down below. We have a total of 5 winners. Two of them will get the Reolink Argus 2 plus the solar panel kit and will be shipped directly from Reolink. And three will get Amazon e-gift cards from me. So check your emails and also the winners below. You might be one of the winners. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank everybody and I'm happy to say that the channel have passed the 20,000 subscriber milestone. Thank you very much guys and I really appreciate it. The next milestone will be 30k so please share and like my videos. I already have a lineup of video topics that I'm going to film for the next two months so stay tuned. Now let's get on with the video. Hello guys, Lifehackster here. Today we are going to do a comparison between motion detection distance between my wireless battery powered Wi-Fi security cameras. Now before we start, in security cameras there are two ways that they detect motion. There is the traditional motion detection which uses the camera's field of view. If there are any changes on the pixels, it will trigger motion detection. Companies have also added algorithms or AI, artificial intelligence, on this method of detection. And the software will analyze the shape of the change and will identify it if it's human, car, or animals and will send out a notification. This helps with preventing false alarms. Now, this type of motion detecting varies from company to company depending on how good their algorithm is. The second one is PIR, Passive Infrared Detection which is mostly used in motion detectors in your home alarm system and also motion activated lights. This sensor detects changes in heat signature. Now I say this because it just doesn't detect heat. The heat should also be moving for it to get triggered. PIR sensors are used on all battery powered security cameras just because it doesn't use a lot of power. There are some disadvantages of a PIR sensor though and this applies to any camera that has this sensor. First, the PIR sensor is more effective in detecting motion that moves across it as compared to motion that is going towards or away from it. So if your camera records late and barely catches the motion, try adjusting or repositioning the camera so that it will be in an angle and the motion at least will be going across the camera or the PIR sensor. Another disadvantage is that PIR sensors don't work through glass. If you have plans on installing the camera inside your house and looking out of a window, you will not be able to detect any motion outside. By the way, most of these battery-powered Wi-Fi security cameras are weatherproof and can be installed outside. Well, except for the indoor blink camera. The other disadvantage, and this is the one that we will be testing today, is the maximum distance that it can detect motion. The internet says that PIR sensors can detect human motion up to 10 meters, which is an average value and the actual detection range is between 5 to 12 meters, so around 30 feet. This is how we are going to do the test. Please note that this is not a scientific test, but more of an actual real-life test. I am an average size adult and will be going across the camera's field of view. I will also set the motion sensitivity of the camera to the max settings. I'll measure my backyard 10 feet, 20, 25, and 30 feet. We'll be placing orange cones to have a visual reference on the distance. The cameras will be placed on a standard outdoor mount at around 7 and 4 inches in height. It will also be tilted down so as to have a good field of view of my yard. The downward tilt will be around 15 to 20 degrees from horizontal. I'm going to start at 30 feet and will keep going closer until the camera detects me. We will see if different brands of battery-powered Wi-Fi security cameras will have a difference as to the minimum distance before it is able to detect motion. We will start with the new Ring Stick-Up Cam, battery version. I have a full review of this camera and I will link it down in the description below if you want to check it out. I like how Ring superimposed this estimated motion zones on the field of view of the camera. It will give you an idea on how far the PIR sensor can detect and on this test, we will see if it is spot on. 
in my setup anyways. You can see that the edge of the blue shade just touches 25 feet. I will set it to the maximum sensitivity. Let's start at 30 feet. We'll wait here for a bit to make sure I give time for the notification. Ring is mostly instantaneous though. So at 30 feet, the camera is not detecting me. Let's try 25 feet. Motion Thank you. Actor, stick up cam. Yep. So we got notified at 25 feet. The superimposed blue area is pretty accurate on the distance. Next camera we are going to test is the Arlo Pro 2. We are going to change the settings of the camera to the highest sensitivity. We will start at 30 feet. No notification. Let's do 25 feet next. Yep, got notification at 25 feet. As you can see in the footage, I also angled the Arlo Pro 2 about the same angle with the ring stick-up cam. So that in the field of view, I will see at least the 10-foot marker. Next camera we are going to test is the Reolink Argos 2. We have to set the camera to the highest sensitivity. Let's start at 30 feet. We'll wait here for a bit. No notification. Next, we will try 25 feet. No notification at 25 feet. Let's try 20 feet. Nope, no notification at 20 feet also. Let's go with 15 feet. By the way, I was pretty optimistic that these cameras will detect around 30 feet that I didn't put a 15 feet marker. Anyways, the Argos 2 starts detecting at around 15 feet. Go to around 15. Also, to clarify, I tried this multiple times with the Argos 2, like changing angles up or down, but still only able to detect me at around 15 feet. 15, I didn't tilt it that much. That's 15 feet again still. Hey, can I help you? Last security battery powered camera we are going to test is the Blink XT. First, we need to arm it and we need to clear the motion zones. We will also change the sensitivity to the highest setting, which is 9. We will change the recording time to 5 and the re-trigger time to 10 seconds. Of all the cameras that I am testing, Blink XT is the only one that will send out notification after it finishes the recording. So basically a delayed notification, and which depends on how long we set the recording time which for this test is 5 seconds. So we will test it out first at 30 feet. Now we have to wait at least 5 seconds to get blink time to send the push notification. So no notification. Next we will try out 25 feet. We need to wait at least 5 seconds again. There you go, we got notification. So Blink's motion detection starts out around 25 feet. This outdoor test proves that different type of PIR security camera brands have different maximum distance of detection. I'm pretty disappointed with Reolink Argus 2 and because of it, I'm going to give it another chance. And I'll do the test again indoors and the camera will be placed lower so that we don't have to deal with angles which can contribute to lesser than 30 foot detection range. Now the cameras will be on a small table near my front door and I'll be measuring our hallway up to 30 feet. Usually indoors you will not have to worry about maximum detection, not unless you live in a mansion or a castle. Okay, we're gonna, uh, this is at 30 feet. Uh, let's see how the Arlo Pro 2 works.
At 30 feet, we got notification for the Arlo Pro 2. Now we're gonna try the blink. So, we'll make sure activity zones is reset. All everything is uh, zones are clear. Sensitivity sensitivity is at nine, and we'll just turn on PIR detection here, and let's see how it works. At thirty feet, we have the blink indoor camera. And my camera is not it's too slow on focusing. Yep, I can see the light goes off there. So we'll wait for about five seconds until it finishes recording and we got an alert. At 30 feet, the blink indoor camera, which is basically the same as the XT. So next we have the ring stick up cam, the battery version. And we'll just get the settings here situated. So I'm gonna record motion and turn on motion alerts. And if you go to the motion settings and the motion zones, it should be able to detect us, but I'll put it as the highest sensitivity save got it and let's do it all right at 30 feet with the ring stick up cam i can tell you that it didn't the blue light didn't turn on so it didn't detect us again nope so I'm gonna go to 25 feet. Didn't even detect us here too, 25. Now I'm gonna go on 20 feet. And then go left and right. Oh, there we go. We got a recording. Your stick up cam. And I got an alert. 20 feet for the ring stick up cam. So now we have the Argos, uh, the Argus 2. Well, let's load up the app. Not the Pro, but the Argus 2. So I get the PIR sensor on. There you go. And push notification is on. Let's go to the PIR settings. And it's on the highest sensitivity. Click save. And let's check it out. This is the Argus 2, 30 feet. The little alarm, it has the, I turned on the alarm on this one, so it should, it should go off when it detects me. So nothing here, let's go to 25. nothing let's go to 20 feet nothing let's go to 15 outside this should have triggered it already 15 feet it's not notifying us I don't know if it's not wide enough. My hallway. I'm going left to right. Nope. There you go. I got it. 
That took a while. That is at 15 feet. Hey, can I help you? Here we go. Took a while. That is at 15 feet. Well, there you have it. Now we know that PIR sensors on these cameras are not created equal. On both tests, the Reolink Argos has the shortest range, which you need to consider when installing outdoors. Also, it seems like the Argos 2 is sensitive as to the angle of motion in relation to the camera or the PIR sensor. I am not sure if Reolink can address this and increase the range by a firmware update. It might be more of a hardware issue though, I'm not sure. So there you have it guys, this is just testing the limitations of a battery powered security camera. I'll be comparing a plugged in camera like the Wisecam to either the Arlo Pro 2 or Blink just focusing in motion detection distance in my future videos. Also if you haven't known already, the Ring Spotlight camera, wired and mount versions, and also the Ring Floodlight cam uses both PIR sensors, which they also use for their lights, and a camera algorithm detection. And as far as in my setup, are the most accurate in motion detection as compared to all other motion activated security cameras that I have. Well, that's it guys and thanks for watching. And hopefully you liked this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. And click that notification bell icon so that you will get notified when I upload comparison videos like this video, product reviews, product updates, and long-term reviews. Thank you.